I'm back. Let's continue from the previous video and we will also continue with the Magda Bogin video so I've been pulling out yesterday and the day before yesterday. So in order to get a global overview about how stuff works you need for example a nature and landscape artist. As I just described, if you have a landscape artist, a landscape artist will tell you, wait, you have a street, pavement on the sidewalk and you have trees. So what you need to do is you need to make sure first that the trees are not overgrowing too much because you have a water body right there and those trees will shed in autumn plenty of leaves and will clog the water body. So you need to make sure that you have this under control. But more importantly so, what you need to be doing is that pick a type of tree which has so many, so many of those. Yeah, laub tree with leaves. Not pine tree, just laub tree, but so many of those. Pick a type of tree which also has a root system which doesn't just grow up on the sidewalk so you have a clean surface and it just stays this way. Yeah, a few weeks I started to make points, pointers of landscape artists. But this is what the boss has to be doing. Make sure everything works and functions perfectly. And then he hires the, or contracts, the whatever gardeners, the people who put it in, the people who pave, on and on and on. Get it? So which brings us to the question. Princess Zuka. If you would have been in Magda Bogin's place, who had this rent-frozen apartment for very cheap, I don't know how long, 200 bucks a month in New York, and now you move into Tepoztlan, Mexico that is, yeah, close to Mexico City, but nicer, would you have done as she did, kept your apartment in New York? Not even living there. Just for so what, spending time when you needed to? And this is a question which is hard to respond to. Let me bring it out. Why would she want to keep it? Because it's fashionable. New York, fashionable. Because her daughter eventually will study and she needs to go live in New York. In Manhattan. I'm talking New York, Manhattan. So there is no space in Manhattan. Why not keeping it for her daughter? Third, I don't know. Family? Lassos? Strings? Family? Anything? I don't know. Maybe her job even? to make the contacts, to live in Tepoztlan. Maybe she needed to make these contacts there for whatever that is, your cooking show, what not she did. Many reasons to do that, keep that apartment. But there's another one and she didn't do it, but I do. That's point number five. That's this one or that one. And that is this. My friend Baltraud, she was working as an anthropologist, as a psychologist. She came from Austria, she studied in France, La Sorbonne, I suppose. She spoke all these languages, English, Spanish, French, and Austrian. <laughs> and she spoke Baya language. Yeah, Austrian is like Baya. That means the world, because she had a distance from this stuff. But this is not a peace sign, a, a Y, the letter J, is a bifurcation or this or that. So she could stand here and could say, these are the Bayern, they're the exploitators. And these are the political engaged who go for in favor of the people. And that's like Cardenas. Cardenas was a president in Mexico who had a son who, you know, who made a large movement. It's called PRD, El Partido de la Revolución Mexicana, which was like the leftist part. No, I'll put it on the right left, never mind left this part in Mexico, who was kind of in competition with El Bri. Partido de la Revolución Democrática and Partido de la... See, the names don't matter. Fighting for the power. Yeah, with Cardenas came La Jornada, which is a newspaper, which was the one to be reading, if you had a little bit in your brains. Yeah, those Bayern, they read Bill Saito, pretty much everyone. And they think it's good to exploit, because the idiots are just idiots. Get my point? The idiots are just idiots, so we can exploit them. We can go and the beauty bird explained this morning, we can exploit it too because they're not worth the while. Those people are worthless because they don't organize. Why does the beauty bird is being kept like that? And why is the third world being kept in the third world? And why is it all exploited? How do they do it? Well, Vartot saw it. It's just that simple. Someone is shot. And a dictator is put in, like in Chile, for example. The president, Salvador Allende, for the people. Oh my God, for the people? No, remember who's behind? The Pope, of course. 
the Malta clan, the Pope, and the Mafia. The Mafia are the knights for the Pope. The Mafia are the knights for the Pope. The ones who create mayhem. So you need jail, you need systems, you need laws, you need lawyers, you need, you know, you need delinquency. You need also have all those assholes who don't want to study, who admire them and also want to become a delinquent. No, I'm a black delinquent, I'm a Latin delinquent, I'm a white trash delinquent. Woo, I'm so cool, I'm a delinquent. They need all that. Because I have expressed it, I don't want to go there more. But I can. Keep the salaries down. Put you all in jail if you don't obey. And don't complain because we have the lower part, the belt, the beauty belt, which of course they would not call beauty belt. They would just say it's the third world. Unworthy people. So we can go exploit bananas. We can take all the natural resources. We can also outsource. See, they have it much worse. And if you don't believe me, let me send you a few pictures of Biafra children from Africa. They are so poor. So don't complain, don't whine. Get it? You have to have the overview. So Wildrod said to me, being on the, with Cardenas, she was just around. The people that would meet, they would sit in coffee places and would uh, talk endlessly. Cardenas had a group of people around him who would support him as a politician. Yeah, maybe they call themselves Cardenistas, but this one, the entire fraction of the ones who were like thinking about the people for the people and Mexico. And Mexico, and of course, I am Princess Silke, I do too. Think for the people, with the people, in favor of the people and Mexico, because that's the land where we live. Tierra para los que la trabajan, the land for those who, who work it against exploitation. Okay, I throw in, which is not against progress. Progress is good. El, el, el NAFTA, for example, el TLC, Tratado de Libre Comercio, el agreement Mexico did with the United States and Canada, it's a good thing. It brought quality up in Mexico. That's a good thing. Progress is a good thing. Yeah, Mexico was one of the first countries who actually produced web, web, internet. And now I have to say it. It came out of Mexico, not even the United States. With Miguel, the Pavarotti. Oh, interesting. In India, my arse. That wasn't even true that there was outsourcing in India. How about that? Well, Mexico is so rich in so very many places. The land is rich and the people. Because they kind of get it what the whites don't do. But Valtor, she came from Austria, France. Yeah, of course, and also you look at Germany, invariably, <clears throat> because she spoke Bayern. She spoke the Bayer language, which is the war, war, I don't know to speak it, sorry. And to, uh, the Hochdeutsch, the one we speak in Germany. So she understood a mentality. This is what it all comes down to. Those who don't speak correct German, the accents, all of them, Schwaben, by everything, Mecklenburg, all that shit. They don't have education, they're stupid, and they exploit each other and everybody else. Yeah, and they drink beer, and they're knuckles. They're idiots, they're assholes. Everybody knows that. Who has education like Walter and I do? That's what it all comes down to. That they're unworthy. So Walter understands all this. Now she is in a different country, which is Latin America, and understands also that. Now we are here in the third world, and look how beautiful it is, and how warm it is, and how great I look in my beautiful outfit. Like everybody can see the contours of my body because it's pretty. And I have it tight, my clothes, but long, I'm elegant. Because in Austria, you can't see it on Germany. Because you have to wear large jackets and your face gets all red in winter. Because it's too cold. Yeah, all that jazz you don't want. So here I am, and I like it so much. But there is one little issue, and that's what she told me. She said, Zilka, here, good it is, and not it is. And, look at, and we look at Mexico, but we also look at the entire Latin American co continent. Look what happened in Chile. They killed Allende and put Pinochet on. Look at what happened in Nicaragua. Look what happened in Salvador. And look what happened in Panama with Noriega. Look what happened because she knows, she knows that the Malta Pope, Pope and the secret society, which is Malta, together with the Knights, and yeah, of course, the, every military on earth, it's linked to the Pope, that anytime soon, they don't get what they want and they have little berrinche, a tantrum, they're gonna pull the lever and another person is being shot and everything goes down the drain just like it happened in Argentina but this time no one had to be shot or maybe it did 
And she said, what you need to do here, she said, in this beautiful place, you always need to have, listen up guys, enough money to have a plane ticket right next to your bedside where you can run out as soon as you can. Then shit comes down. <laughs>